I'd like to begin by stating I was not in the happiest mindset and I haven't been for quite a while. This heavily impacted the dose that I had taken. Usually when I take DPH, I max out my high with 600 milligrams. I start the night off with 300 and take another 300 a couple hours later. I find that it helps me create a more intense high while preventing blackouts during the delirium. But this particular night, I was looking for an escape, and I knew that my tolerance was high, seeing as I could feel the body load of the 600 milligrams, but I didn't have any visuals. I grabbed 8 more pills, so I could go up to at least 800 milligrams. I hesitated, because I always told myself to never go over 700 again. But I was already fucked, was in my mindset, so I took them anyway. I noticed I had grabbed a couple of extra pills for my stash. I counted at least four, which would bring me up to 900 milligrams, but there was also quite a bit left in my pocket. Without counting, I took the rest of the pills that were in my pocket. When you take a dose periodically, it takes a little longer for them to kick in, at least for me. I find that if I take my desired dose all at once, it hits me like a train, and I'm not able to thoroughly prepare, but this was coming on fast. I already had an intense body load and a really bad dry mouth, but after taking all those pills, I started to feel really sick. My eyes started watering like crazy, and my head began to burn up. I tried to feel if I had a fever, but my head felt fine. While debating on if I should go to the bathroom to puke, my whole face went numb. I began to feel a painful tightness in my throat and my chest began to rumble like I was hungry. I finally decided to go to the bathroom, but not to throw up, I had to pee. When I got out of bed, I fell to the floor. The body load was just so intense, I couldn't stand up unless I was holding on to something. I grabbed my phone to use the flashlight because I couldn't see anything. When I turned on the light, I was shocked to see my environment. Everything was the same, but it felt foreign to me. Everything was outlined with a creepy glow, like I was dreaming or something. I slowly made my way to the bathroom. When I looked in the mirror, I was terrified by what I saw. My entire face was yellow. I had really dark red circles around my eyes. My face was sunken in, like someone was pulling my skin down. My pupils were huge, and my eyes were bloodshot. I had a very uncanny wide-eyed expression. I knew it was my face, but I looked so afraid, and I just didn't look healthy. My right eye was looking in the direction of my nose, and my left eye was looking straight ahead. When I looked at my face as a whole, I just felt scared and confused, not really acknowledging that this person was me, but at the same time, it felt familiar. I went to pee and stumbled my way back to my bed. I figured I should try to go to sleep. It took a while, but I was finally able to pass out. When I woke up the next morning, I had a very painful headache. The body load was still present, and my vision was still pretty blurry. My mouth was so dry that I couldn't speak, so I drank a ton of water. I noticed in my camera roll that I had taken screenshots of a bunch of old messages. My guess is that I couldn't read them, so I took a screenshot so I can zoom in on them. Not that it really helps, but I do it anyway. As I was drinking water and getting food, I realized why my reflection scared me so bad. It's because I had seen it before. I had a nightmare that I was dying of an overdose, and my face looked strikingly similar to what it was last night. I'm terrified that I'm reaching the end of my lifespan, like my dreams warned me about. But I had done another 900 milligrams the next day without a care in the world. I know I've gone too far, and I know it's not healthy but I can't stop. Part of me wants to reach that end, but I don't think it will come anytime soon.
please be more responsible than I am. So I got bored one night and decided I would take 16 Benadryl or 400 milligrams. I lay in bed and watch YouTube waiting for the come up. I've taken DPH before, but only in doses up to 300 milligrams, so this was the highest dose I've tried so far. About an hour later, I looked up from my phone and I saw the walls flashing. This is one of the signs of the come up. I don't know why, but the walls always flash. I got up and went to the bathroom and felt the usual heaviness you always feel on DPH. I went back to my room and accidentally fell asleep. I woke up the next morning disappointed because I thought I slept through all that Benadryl. I walk in the living room, still feeling that heaviness. My grandma then asked me what I was doing in the basement last night. I was confused because I slept all night, or so I thought. So I ask her what she's talking about and she tells me that I fell down the stairs. Now, I'm really confused. So according to her, she heard a thump in the basement and checked to see what was going on and she found me at the bottom of the steps. She told me to come back upstairs, but instead, I stared at her with huge eyes and she said I didn't blink the entire time. I then slowly walked up the stairs and greeted her at the top. I looked at her with those same big eyes and asked, Nanny, why are you purple? She asked me what I was talking about and I never answered. She guided me back to my bedroom and put me back to bed. The whole time she thought I was sleepwalking, she never found out I was high. So yeah, there's my story of how I fell down the stairs when I was high. My girlfriend, let's call her Amy, and I were chilling at my place on a Saturday night and we both wanted to get drunk. We usually drive around town and look for junkies or homeless people that would be alright to get us alcohol and then give them some money in return for the favor. That day, we had an especially hard time finding someone outside who would buy us something, so we had decided to go into the Walgreens right next to where we were and grab some DXM instead. We had done a second plateau DXM plus 200 milligrams Benadryl trip that was pretty mind blowing and we were ready for a similar experience. We found some Walgreen brand triple C's and agreed to each take a 240 milligram DXM dose. On DXM, we both get very hungry so we decided to stop by the Dollar Tree and grab some snacks for the night. While shopping, we took a look in the pharmaceutical section and found three bottles of pure DXM with no other active ingredients. At this point, we had decided to go all out and let loose tonight, so we bought those three bottles. Once we got back to my college dorm, we took a look at all the drugs we had at our disposal. When everything was all said and done, each of us had taken 480 milligrams of DXM, 100 milligrams of Benadryl, 25 milligrams of Adderall, 3 grams of Kratom, and 400 milligrams of caffeine. I'm 5'7 and 125 pounds, so it is safe to say shit hit my system within 20 to 30 minutes. Amy wasn't feeling it yet, but became concerned with me because I was acting strange and was sweating a bunch. We decided to take a shower, and this is where the trip really began. As we stood in the shower, I would close my eyes and have dreamlike visions where my head would paint a picture of what I thought my bathroom looked like. I would then forget my eyes were closed and open my eyes seconds later to have my mind blown that everything was slightly different than how I was imagining it. Once we had gotten out of the shower, everything was beginning to hit Amy as well and we both appeared to be in psychosis. While I am unsure whether that's actually what we were experiencing, the effects were very similar with a dissociative edge. The next hour was a complete blur and I have a hard time trying to remember what happened. 
All I remember is sitting down to make music with Amy and us having a hard time figuring out what we were doing because we are both relatively inexperienced with using the music software. Despite this, we actually made two short tracks that are a little interesting to hear. From around 12 a.m. to 1 a.m., I began feeling nauseous and started throwing up in my bathroom. This visibly concerned Amy and it began to freak me out. We both became paranoid that I had overdosed due to my small body structure. I calmed her down and we both agreed to go out on a late night walk to a 7-Eleven and smoke some weed to chill us out. Usually around this time, there is no RA in the lobby so we don't have to worry about tripping in front of people who work for the school. On this occasion, a security guard was sitting at the RA's desk once we came down the elevator. Normally on acid or shrooms, I just don't even acknowledge them as not to bring attention to myself. But this wasn't like any ordinary trip. I struggled to walk normally and the door always seemed to be moving away from me as I walked towards it. This only increased my paranoia and heart rate as we exited the building. At this point, my heart was beating very hard and I did my best to calm myself down. The walk to the 7-Eleven was filled with anxiety and fear that I may end up in a hospital or worse. The brief time inside 7-Eleven was a nice break from reality as most of the people working there were probably on something as well. As we left, I began having very strange visuals that felt like the world was pixelating around me. The hypnotic repetition of my footsteps sent me into a trance where I imagined my death. I had convinced myself that I was going to die tonight and began to say goodbye in my head to the world around me. In a weird way, it was probably the most terrifying and surreal experience of my life. I had accepted my own demise, but my head wasn't clouded with emotion or fear. There was just a very dark and sinister undertone to everything that I will never forget. Once we got back to my dorm, the Adderall began to crash and we were both pretty tired. I remember putting on Death Metal by Panchico and it being a totally wild experience. I was very delirious and sleep deprived, which mixed with the Adderall crash and the Benadryl in my system caused me to go into full psychosis mode. I heard tons of weird voices and sounds I have never heard before, especially on the rot tracks. The next day, we felt very out of it and had trouble thinking and remembering stuff. After talking with Amy for a while, we found out that we both had very similar experiences that day. If you are considering doing DXM plus antihistamines, please do your research. In hindsight, Taking triple C's with Benadryl, Adderall, and caffeine could have caused serious damage in higher doses. Best not to walk that line. So a while back, I ran out of weed and really wanted to have something to fall back on. After some research, I found that Benadryl can make you trip. I didn't use a trip calculator and simply went off of what my friend who does Benadryl told me. He said the most he had taken was 25. Keep in mind, he had been doing it for months. I was new to delirians and didn't know how intense they were, so me wanting to have a full experience trip, I decided to take 25 that night. Huge mistake. About 30 minutes in, I started to feel it kick in. It started off with subtle and cool hallucinations like a hand under my door, bugs, etc. As the trip went on, it got more and more intense. Eventually, I had convinced myself that police were at my house with a warrant from a previous charge. In a delirious rage, I ran into my bathroom with an AR-15. No one was home at the time. After about two hours of negotiations with police that weren't there, I heard a door open. Finally, had some peace to hear a familiar voice. My mom came to the bathroom. After about 30 more minutes of her convincing me that there weren't any police, 
I stepped out. I got no sleep that night. I kept hallucinating people sprinting towards me and stopping and disappearing right before they got to me. Finally, after about eight hours, I went to sleep. Now I don't remember how this happened, but when I woke up, my room was a disaster. It took about four hours to clean. Three months later, I'm still in psychosis, although not as bad as the first few weeks. I still hear voices and see people running from time to time. I'm going to start by saying, never do diphenhydramine under any circumstances. So I live with my step-grandparents at the time. I was in my room, and at this point in my life, I was very hard into drugs. I had mostly done weed and opiates, but this night, I didn't have anything, and I had already raided the medicine cabinet. We had no DXM, so I went on Google and did some research, and I found out about DPH, and I was very interested. So I went and grabbed a box of allergy medicine and made sure it had DPH in it. I don't exactly remember how many pills I took, but if I had to guess, I would say I took around 900 milligrams, and it was the worst experience of my life. So I took the pills and decided to watch TV. About an hour goes by, and I get the worst tingling sensation in my back, and I couldn't stop twitching. I decided to go to my room and lay down, and I kept having the worst muscle spasms. I remember thinking, this sucks, as I laid there waiting for the effects to hit me. I didn't keep track of time, but it was night and I was home alone. And then all of a sudden, it hits me. My mind was foggy, I couldn't concentrate on anything, my body felt like it weighed 300 pounds, and it was hard to move. I started seeing spiders in every corner of my room, but I started hearing laughter and I was terrified. The spiders got bigger. I looked at the wall in front of me and there was a huge black spider with big red eyes bigger than me. And when I looked at it, it crawled to the ceiling and just disappeared. I remember staring at this little light up snowman I had in my room. My mind went blank and I was just staring for what felt like hours and then I blacked out. I woke up and it was light outside. I still wasn't keeping track of time. I looked at my desk and saw my friend sitting on it. I kept trying to talk to him, but he wouldn't answer. Then I went downstairs and as I was about to sit on the couch in the living room, my grandma and my friend walked through the back door out of nowhere. She said, hey, your friend is here. I said, okay. And then I blacked out again and woke up back in my bed. To this day, I can't figure out if that actually happened or if I was just very delirious from the diphenhydramine. 